All right, we are now on the fourth floor of this Tovey project. It's actually the third floor of apartments, fourth floor total, because the first floor was the podium with the retail space underneath. Russ, why don't you explain to us a little bit about what's going on up here? Okay, so up here, we are on the east side of the building. Uh, we're getting some interior panels set. Exterior panels are set up, like Matt was talking about, with the leading edge and safety rails. And we are running through. We've got joists and trusses going in on that side. Structure creates going down, already down on this side. This is how the panels get up, right? Yep. Absolutely. Matt, we were talking earlier about, you know, in, in the old days, before we were doing these panels, how many trips it takes to go down four floors to bring these panels up here. Walk us through the process now. Yeah, so basically how this works now is all the panels come on these racks here, then they fly from the ground. We can get about 150 lineal feet, if not more, out of the rack. Um, that's interiors, we load exteriors on there as well. What happens is from coming from the ground every time, you have that commute time, I call it, with the crane from the point of install to the point of his pick, which depending on the height of your building always grows. You know, the farther away you get from your point of rigging, the longer it takes for the piece of material to actually get here. So what we've done with the racks is we try to get as much footage as we can get in the racks, thus eliminating, you know, we have the, the far hook time to get it up here. But then once we get it up here, all the picks are short. As you can see, there's guys in the background flying a panel that's only about 30 feet away from its pick point. Well, and that's it. And the crane's down below in the street. You got the boom coming up overhead. Not only does it bring it up, but then it helps them move each panel into place Absolutely. efficiently and quickly. And while they're installing the last panel, this is being put back down. Yep. The next one's being picked up and brought up so they keep moving and there's yep. no time lost yep. on the job. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And Russ, I like what you were saying. I, you know, if we look around the exterior, we are on the top out of this floor right now. There is no roof. We can see these walls, exterior walls, really are an awesome safety barrier. Yep. But they're also not only safety, it helps keep the wind and the weather, especially we're in, right in, yep. in, outside of Cleveland here. It's going to be windy and really cold, and they're going to love having these solid walls around them. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. For sure, for sure. What is the subfloor we're standing on here, Russ? So we're standing on Structocrete. It's three-quarter inch Structocrete. It is on top of our truss system. And the reason why we're doing this, you don't have to worry about decking. You don't have to worry about a three and a half inch, four inch pour of concrete on top. They're using the USG Structocrete product, pouring an inch and a half of a gypcrete over top of it, and that's your finished floor to do whatever you want it to. If it's polished and stained, if you're adding uh, vinyl or whatever you want to do for your finished floor, it goes right on top of the right. gypcrete. So you don't need to use concrete in every floor. We just used it on the podium because there's retail and to get us up the height that we need it. Correct. How yep. high can we go with this structure the way it's being built right now? Size you want to. We can high go as high as you want to, as high as you want to build. We can, we can do it. Yeah, for sure. Now on top of here, we also see everybody's roped off. Like it's roped off on this side where the exterior panels are not. Yep. All the guys are wearing harnesses. They're still laying the subfloor so the exterior wall panels can go on. What do you got left up here to finish up? Uh, so on this floor, once the cranes move to the south elevation, we'll continue the panel set around there. What's actually going on now is we have three major activities here. We have our decking activity, we have our joist activity, and then we have our panel set. So this is a U-shaped building, so it works well for those three activities. So we'll be setting panels on this side while we're decking in front of it, and then we're joisting behind where we set panels. So everything kind of works in a continuous loop around this building. We just keep looping it up to the top. Like, I, like Russ said, we can take this thing as high as you want it to go. Let's talk about the efficiencies, not only from a site impact, but you know, a labor impact, right? From a site impact, by doing the panel system, you have a lot less vehicles and movement coming in and out of a job site. Yep. And this is a heavy traffic area. You got the main hospital right across the way. Yep. There's traffic all around you. How important is that to the job in the oh, city? It's, a, it's extremely important. I mean, we have a constrained job site here. I mean, a lot of these type of jobs in the past, I've seen with a lot of trucking and, you know, dead trucks and stuff all over the place. Um, this way with our panel system, all those logistics are taken out of the equation. There is a yard here that's sizable so we can front load the uh, panels out front, but uh, everything's just lulled, great alt or rough terrain forklifted to the cranes and then the cranes lift them up into place. That's right, and it's, it's low impact on the community. Yep. You get in and out of here with less disruption yep. during this process altogether. And one of the things Matt touched on, 
that extra space we have to drop product and drop everything that would normally be parking because you'd have two to three more laborers here yeah. building the panels and doing everything with everything being built off site and brought in that allows for more space on site absolutely and that's it right it's you can efficiently use all the additional space to get the job done in a smaller area absolutely uh and, and keep it in tight i love this guys is there anything that we haven't talked about that we should be touching on here other than awesome <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you nailed it. It's awesome. Awesome team, awesome people. It is awesome team, awesome people. All right, everybody, there you have it. We are with Tovey on site outside of Cleveland. You got the factory tour. You got the job site tour. This is what it's going to look like when it's all complete in just a few more weeks. I'm Dave Cooper. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.